Becoming a millionaire is no longer an unrealistic dream. Becoming a self-made millionaire has never been an easy feat. But it is certainly possible if you are willing to make the sacrifices and changes necessary to reach this financial goal. In today's video, we are going to show you habits that make you a millionaire. Without further ado, let's begin. Millionaires think long-term. Keats said that there are five different groups of people in society. There are the poor, very poor, middle class, rich and very rich. Very poor people think day to day, whereas poor people think week to week. The middle class thinks month to month, while the rich think year to year. Very rich people think from decade to decade. I encourage you to sit back and think for a moment. What do you think about the things you need to do in life? Do you think day to day, month to month, or year to year? A lot of planning needs to be part of your game plan if you want to be a millionaire. Millionaires think long term, not about what is going on tomorrow. Keith encourages you to set goals and plan for them over a longer period of time. Millionaires talk about ideas. Millionaires spend much of their time talking about ideas rather than things or people. The middle class spends much of its time talking about people and things rather than ideas. These are powerful statements. Big people talk about ideas, average people talk about things, and small people talk about other people. Granted, you may not change your thought process overnight, but it will take some time. Many millionaires spend a lot of their time thinking about new ideas. While working on projects, they think about other ideas. Millionaires think about ideas and make things happen. Millionaires embrace change. As many of us are going through the coronavirus, you are possibly experiencing some change in your everyday routine. People like positive change, but the virus is creating a lot of negative change. The middle class tends to assume most of the changes are negative. Millionaires assume all change, positive and negative, benefits them. Learning to deal with change is a must for millionaires. They embrace change because they know it brings an opportunity for growth. Insecure people don't like change. Confident people welcome change. Confidence is acquired through hard work and preparation. A lot of time working on oneself creates more confidence in a person. You are not trying to compete against someone, but only against yourself. A confident person knows they can handle any situation and believe they can do whatever they want to do. Millionaires take calculated risks. The middle class is trapped in the rat race working from paycheck to paycheck because they don't take risks. This doesn't mean blindly taking a risk, but millionaires take a calculated risks. Taking a risk brings fear whether you are in the middle class or a millionaire. Millionaire educates themselves before taking a risk to overcome their fear. The millionaire takes a risk and understands the consequences if they fail. Keith's mentor, Nito Kubin, taught him three questions to ask before taking on a risk. What's the best thing that could happen? What's the worst thing that could happen? What's the most likely thing that could happen? If you can live with the worst thing that could happen and it gets you closer to your goals, then go for it. If you can't live with the worst thing that could happen and it doesn't get you closer to your goals, then don't go for it. Carefully think through it before taking on a new venture. Millionaires continually learn and grow. Keith wrote that most millionaires he knows spend their time reading. Many even have a large collection of books. One of the most successful investors of our time, Warren Buffett, reads approximately 500 pages a day. Bill Gates reads 50 books in a year. Both of these men are on the Forbes list of richest people year after year. Books are not expensive and contain a lot of valuable information. I am not referring to the latest romance novel either. There are hundreds of autobiographies of the wealthy, finance, investing, and business books available. Millionaires work for profits. People work for wages while millionaires work for profits. A person who works for wages has enough to live on, and it is hard to become financially free. Millionaires understand this, so they work for profits. Profits are the result of buying something and then selling it for a higher price. Many millionaires are in the business of sales. It is estimated that 90% of people who make an income over $100,000 are in sales. All of Keith's millionaire friends and mentors work for profits, not wages. Millionaires believe they must be generous. Keith shared a story that he purchased an item with a $10 bill and the clerk gave him back $5 and some change. Because of his generosity, 
Keith gave the clerk the $5 bill as a tip. The clerk was amazed and thanked Keith. She didn't understand why she received a $5 tip for an item that cost less than $5. Millionaires have multiple sources of income. The more sources of income you develop, the more likely you will become a millionaire. Keith gave an example of a fisherman. If the fisherman had two fishing poles in the water, there is a greater chance he'll catch more fish compared to if he only had one fishing pole. The same idea applies to income. Millionaires generate income from multiple sources. In the form of passive income, millionaires employ their teams to earn income. Employing a team takes time, and the millionaire has to provide the leadership and trust to get the teams to work together. Millionaires focus on increasing their net worth. You may have heard the saying work smarter, not harder. Focusing on your net worth is smart. Focusing on your paycheck is working harder. Millionaires work hard in the beginning to create their net worth. The middle class is trapped in the rat race. The rat race is to get up, go to work, pay bills, get up, go to work, and pay bills. Millionaires get up, do what they love, spend time with their families, donate to charitable causes, travel, and look for ways to add to their net worth. Net worth is assets minus liabilities. Millionaires look at assets that have value and earn them a passive income. A middle-class person may have some assets that provide value but these assets don't produce passive income. Liabilities are things that you owe money for. Millionaires ask themselves empowering questions. Initially, this habit may not seem important, but if you really look deeply into the question, this could be a very powerful question to ask yourself. Learn to ask questions that stretch you beyond your current level of experience. For example, how can I double line income this year? Or, what can I do to pay my bills this month? Both questions require some thought and mental energy. Empowering questions force you to ask what can you do? A disempowering question asks what can't you do and why are things so hard? When you ask yourself empowering questions, you become a powerful person. These questions force you to reach your full potential and determine the results you get in life. The middle class asks questions that make them poor while the rich ask themselves questions that make them rich. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up for more interesting content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.